The control center on your iPad gives you quick and easy access to settings and controls to make your user experience even better. To access the control center, swipe down with one finger from the top right corner of your screen, right where you see the battery icon. This will open the control center. In the control center, you can tap on any of these buttons to adjust your settings. Tap on the airplane to turn on airplane mode to help your iPad to charge more quickly. Tap on the screen rotation lock to prevent your screen from flip-flopping back and forth as you're turning your iPad or holding it in your hands. Tap the Do Not Disturb button to keep notifications from popping up at night or on your screen while you're making a screen recording. You can adjust the lightness and darkness of your iPad screen to make it easier on your eyes, as well as the volume for your headphones. You can quickly access apps like the camera app or the timer app, adjust the light and dark mode setting of your iPad, or even turn on screen recording to record your screen like I'm doing right now. You can change what you see in your control center by going to the settings app. Tap anywhere in your screen to close the control center. Then tap the settings app. Tap on control center on the left side then tap Customize Controls on the right side. The section at the top shows the controls and settings that are already included in the Control Center, and the section at the bottom shows additional controls and settings that you can add to the Control Center. To add a control, just tap on the plus in front of that control. If I want to add the alarm to my Control Center, I can tap on the plus. Now you can see the alarm is listed in the top section. If I want to delete something or remove something from my control center, I can tap on the minus in front of that control. So if I want to remove the timer, I can tap the minus and then tap on the remove button over on the right side. Now when I swipe back down on my control center, I'll notice that I no longer have the timer app listed, but now I have the alarm app listed. 